Hello some viewers how are you all welcome back to another video guys in this video we are going to discuss how to take a screenshot of a single element in one of our previous videos i would have shown you how to take a screenshot of the entire page here we'll learn how to take a screenshot of a single element for that guys let me open my page which i have created so my page looks like this sample form to test property actions so this is a simple page which i have created so i want a screenshot of this element so you we may so we may get a requirement to take a screenshot whenever we have a failure in particular test case particular element is failed we want to display a screenshot in that scenario this uh, code will be helpful but for now i will take a screenshot of this select you can screen, take a screenshot of this text area etc for that guys you have to inspect it when you inspect it you will get the elements list in elements let us go inside the body so you have to take the you have to take the id for id here is car let us move back to code so let us now start the code let me take a constant variable puppet var equal to so it is require and what do we require here we require puppet here now let us start our describe block so describe block what will be the description of describe block this for single element screenshot through puppetia so open bracket close bracket here we get the arrow function and open bracket close here so now so block is defined as single test case element screenshot so element screenshot we'll have a, a synchronous function here so a sync function open bracket close bracket no so let us now write the test case here so we'll take a constant browser equal to await so puppeteer where dot launch so what do you have to launch we need to launch a browser that too main will write option as headless equal to false that's it uh, for now the let fault is more than enough constant page equal to await browser dot me page and we have to navigate to my page so page dot go to and you have to navigate to this exact location which is my web page dot html address so await page dot so now so here i'll wait for timeout anyway so wait for timeout since i want i'm just giving wait for time out for 6 seconds so that um, browser can be visible on the screen and the screenshot will be taken properly in the beginning of the video i would have shown you the for drop down i have used id cars so i will we'll consider a screenshot based on the id since most of the cases id is unique so i'll tell take a constant select so select as a, a variable which can have the select element stored so i'll write a wait page dot so wait for selector you have right here so that it can wait for the selector to be visible on the screen and it can have the properties of cars the next is uh, to take a screenshot and to save in the location so let's take await 
so select is the variable which we have took so if we click on dot we will get screenshot as a method in this method you can see we have an options so let us write an option option for example we can write path and that too it can be in single quotes we will write cars dot png so that it can be saved as a png with the name cars now once everything is done we will close the browser this is as simple as it looks let me expand the code so simply here we have to we have taken browser which is which will open in headless mode which is false we have taken a page we have described it as browser.new page and the url to be with to be launched is the url which i've created the web page and i told it to wait for some millisecond and wait for this id cars and the part should be saved is cars.png and after everything is done close the browser so let us now run you know to run i have to put this one in package.json so which i have already kept take single screen element screenshot which aptly matches with uh, this js file name so let me run npm test so now the browser will be launched in a second so browser has now launched it will take a screenshot of that lamborghini cars so now it says test for single element screenshot through puppeteer element screenshot is done it has it is now passed and you can see on the left hand side we have cars.png let me double click that cars.png so cars.png is there and the screenshot is lamborghini the drop down so that's it for the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you are a new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye and the code will be in the description if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section till then guys take care bye bye